Hello. In this video, we will demonstrate the possibility of SportCom to integrate with Team Center PLM system. It is possible to import a part, workpiece, tool, machine, and a SportCom project from Team Center. SportCom can store its projects in Team Center, convert tool from Team Center to SportCom format, and store converted tool in Team Center base. You need to configure each of the systems. In order for SprutCom that installed on your computer could work with Team Center server. On the Team Center server, you must create new types of datasets to store SprutCom objects. In SprutCom, you need to associate the saved objects with the types created in Team Center and configure the connection settings with the PLM server. SprutCom settings are performed in the menu item settings on the PLM extensions and PLM connections tabs. In this window, you configure types of datasets created in Team Center, objects that will be loaded and saved from Team Center to SportCom and back, and connection parameters. Detailed configuration is described in the documentation for SportCom. After you have configured at least one connection, control elements appear in the SportCom interface to interact with the configured PLM system. The system is configured now, and we can consider the functions implemented in SportCom. First, let's see the import of PLM system objects separately into the current SportCom project. Let's start with the importing of parts and workpieces. Import the part and workpiece from the model tab using the import model from PLM menu item by the import button. There is a separate item for the part and separate for the workpiece. When selecting the appropriate item, you will see a tree of PLM system objects in which you need to select the model to import. You can navigate through the tree and select the imported workpiece. We confirm our choice. It takes some time to import. In the same way, we can import the part model. We remove the workpiece as we don't need it now. We also see the tree of PLM system objects. Select the part and confirm. During the import process, model components uploaded from Team Center server to the local machine and import into the current SportCom project. This is how our part looks. Now we load the machine. You can upload the machine to SportCom only in its own format. In this regard, the machine in the SportCom format must be pre-located in Team Center. Instructions for placing the machine in Team Center can be found in SportCom documentation. Importing the machine into the SprutCom project can be done on the Setup tab by the button Import Machine from PLM on the toolbar. When you start the import, you will see a familiar shape on the screen with the object tree of the PLM system, where the machines are displayed. This is a classifier of equipment. Select the machine from the list. We will choose a prepared machine in which the data set with the SportCom machine are already placed. If you confirm the selection, the machine will be loaded into the SportCom project instead of the current one, if it was opened before. Now we will download the tool from the PLM system. You can download the tool into SportCom using only its own format. That means when Team Center objects importing, there should already be a tool in SprutCom format. To convert a tool from Team Center to SprutCom format, tool converter of PLM systems is developed. That is a separate application that we will look at the end of the video. Converted tool importation into the SprutCom project is done on the Setup tab with the plus button opposite the tools. After that, the form of adding the tool is launched, where we select the button Add from PLM system. 
the PLM object 3 appears. This list is an equipment classifier. Here we will choose the tool. Note that the instrument should be converted in advance. The tool we selected is loaded. On the screen you can see how it looks. It also appeared in the tool tree. Let's try to load one more tool. For example, this one. Now consider the case where we load the PLM system objects in complex, not separately. That means that operation or CNC machining developed in Team Center already includes a part, workpiece, tool, and machine. Loading of the finished operation or CNC machining in SpurtCam is performed from the toolbar with the button Open Project from PLM. On the form with the PLM system tree, you must select the necessary operation and confirm the selection. We don't save the project now. All the objects associated with the selected operation will be loaded into SportCam Machine, Tool, Model, Workpiece. You can see Machine, Part, and Tool. There is no workpiece in this example. Note that the current project received the name of the operation. It became associated with the loaded operation. Suppose that we have worked with the project, created a toolpath, and see and want to save the work in Team Center. There are two possibilities for this. We can save the project in any operation of the PLM system. Choose it, find the operation, and save. Now we won't do this, but we will save by clicking the Save button, which will save the project with the current PLM related object. Press the button. As the SprutCom project consists of several files, the project is stored in a dataset specially created for this purpose. If in the course of working with the project, NC has been created for a CNC machine or a report with a list of tools, or a setup map has been generated, all this data will be stored in separate data sets in the PLM system associated with this operation. After the project was saved in Team Center, the next time you download an operation from Team Center to SportCom, the previously saved project will be loaded, and not machining with the part, workpiece, and other objects included in it. For now, we reset the current project, create a new one and open the previously saved one. As we can see, the import window didn't appear. At this point, a project was saved from the PLM object, which was previously saved in Team Center. During the loading process, the part and workpiece model are monitored. If the model was changed in Team Center, it can be uploaded in SportCom optionally. Let's see the PLM Tool Converter. We have a separate application to convert the tool from Team Center format to SportCom format. After running the application, you must select a connection to the Team Center server that was previously configured in SportCom. And one of the conversion modes All Tools or Selected Tool. Let's choose any of tool from the list and confirm. Then we should choose the convert options, replace existing tool and don't stop on errors if necessary. The second item is relevant for mass tool conversion. Press the button to start converting. In the converting process in PLM system objects, a data set in which the tool in the SprutCom format is placed is created. Upon completion of the conversion process, errors and warnings protocol will be formed, if any. 
if there were no errors, as in our case, a message about the successful conversion will appear. Now, this tool can be used in Sprutcom. This was an overview of the functions of the Sprutcom Team Center integration system. Thank you for your attention.